Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now there's absolutely no doubt that for me, Olight products always have a place in my pocket. That's not necessarily only the case for their flashlights, but their pocket knives as well. In the past, we've taken a look at a couple of different O knife products. The one that really resonated with me, the Beagle. That had a ton of pocket time. It was my little sort of EDC companion for quite a while, but today, turning the corner here, we're gonna look at the Freeze 2. Now there are two variants here. This is copper and this one here in the carbon fiber overlay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bust these out of the package, take a look at them in detail. I am pretty excited to see these. I have definitely come to greatly enjoy O Knife products. And I think this is absolutely gonna be the case with the Freeze too. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Olight, O Knife, who did provide these for review. And so again, as I mentioned, Olight products for me, they're just part of my everyday carry. Not necessarily every single day, but when it comes to having a good quality product that just fits nicely in your pocket and it performs Olight doing a fantastic job, and I found that the O Knife products absolutely fitting that category. So for an everyday carry product, I can definitely say I've come to greatly enjoy these. But here, a couple different variants. I'm pretty excited to see these. This one here in copper, this one here in the carbon fiber overlay, actually weighing in a little bit different. That's the first thing. Right when you look at the outside of the packaging, I do like Olight packaging in general and the O Knife products packaged up very nicely. A couple of interesting things. They do usually put some specifications on the outside of the package. So taking a look here at the copper 154 cm, the copper handle, this weighing in at 142 grams or in other words 5.01 ounces. So it's going to be a little bit heavier than the carbon fiber overlay. So this one here again, 154 cm, the carbon fiber overlay handle scales coming in at a nice 103 grams or 3.63 ounces. So we're going to test that out a little bit. We'll drop these on the scale and verify that for ourselves. But in the meantime, let's get into the unboxing. And so if you've been watching my channel, you've probably heard me say a dozen times at this point, I'm not necessarily the biggest stickler for packaging. I don't really care so much. However, when companies are paying attention to the quality of the packaging on the outside, you know they're paying close attention to the quality of the product on the inside. And that is, without a doubt, absolutely the case with Olight and with their O Knife products. So that is the first thing packaged up very nicely. And so here on the outside, the serial number KN0040. So this is a very low serial number. And then this one here, KN01528. So kind of neat that that's done. I didn't realize that at first, but I've been kind of paying attention to some of the sort of banter and discussion on the Olight Facebook groups and forums. And I was kind of picking up on those details. So pretty neat and just a little level of detail. So the first one we're going to look at here in copper. The interesting thing too, and I'm going to point out as we get into this, the actual size of the picture on the outside, generally about the size of the actual product. So we're going to test that out too. Pretty cool. But here, just a nice little slip as we get this out. A lot of detail going into this packaging. As you take a look here, this will probably have a commemorative coin. That is one thing you'll see. So this is pretty typical at this point of the O knife. So each O knife is finely tuned by hand and expertly engineered for the best possible performance. Stay sharp with your new O knife, the O knife team. And again, as we get into this few little things to pay attention to. So it's typically having the uh, little uh, warranty card and information card in here. So O knife contents pretty straightforward not a lot to it quick little thank you and the main product here the o knife freeze 2 in copper so taking a look here as we open this up this does have a commemorative coin we'll slide that aside 
and the Freeze 2. Now the important thing, oh cool. So now actually including a sticker of the Freeze 2. So very nice little touch. Please note the scales are made of copper that is easy to oxidize. The Freeze 2 is vacuum packed to minimize the chance of copper oxidization during shipping. However, there might be oxidization spots on the surface of copper when it arrives, which is a normal phenomenon. Now, that to me doesn't bother me at all, but you'll notice the level of detail they've gone into to try to protect this. Silica gel, very, very tightly packaged up, like no air in there whatsoever. So they've basically sucked all the air out of this, vacuum sealed that to the best of their ability to protect it. Now, within literally a matter of minutes, this will definitely oxidize with fingerprints, uh, with you know different oils and things that you might get on this so if you want this to look perfect it probably won't look perfect forever but at the same time that is kind of the fun with copper and that's what has me excited here the idea being that oof, you can actually really make this your own get it sort of personalized weatherized and just getting a nice patina but here the copper and as you take a look, actually, the backside on the pocket clip, too, and the freeze, too, nice and buttery smooth. So I'm just going to clean this up real quick, and we'll get a closer look. And so, again, not cleaned up perfect, but close enough for the demonstration. 154CM steel, the nice copper scales. So absolutely beautiful, and you can definitely feel the weight. Now, one thing that I like right away, as you look at the pivot screw, having that nice blue pivot collar, really cool. And the next thing is, well, take a look. Not only is the box serial numbered, but here up on the blade. So the KN00040, that is that serial number, Freeze 2. A great blade shape. I absolutely love this blade shape. It's fantastic. Nice drop point design. High saber grind with an unsharpened swedge, some subtle jimping on the top, and a lot of jimping actually all the way out. That's pretty cool. That's something that you don't see a lot with that amount of jimping all the way across the top of the spine. So really, really cool. As you take a look at the liners, these liners on the inside, I feel like these are probably a stainless steel, but they have almost a blackened uh, mirror polish finish. So really Really nicely done skeletonizing on the inside to try to lose a little bit of weight but that's not going to matter too too much with the weight of these scales as you take a look at the actual hardware it looks like everything's done with t8 hardware so t8 hardware on your frame screws flipping this around on that deep ride pocket clip with flush mount screws and again t8s flush mounted on that pocket clip so nicely done T8s, of course, on your pivot screw. And all around, just nicely crafted. Everything chamfered, really nicely rounded out. Just beautiful. And the satin finish on the 154 CM blade, wonderfully done. You can see here with the O-Knife logo just popping off the flat. So really nicely done. I do have to say this is a gorgeous knife, and I'm going to play with this quite a bit. I'll probably patina this thing like crazy, and this is just going to enjoy some quality time in my pocket. Taking a look real quick, let's see this coin. Now, it'll be interesting to see if the coin is the same in both versions. So again, here with the copper and the coin coming out freeze too. So you can see just interesting little wave design there. Each one of these O-Knife products having a different coin, very fun, very enjoyable, outdoor elite, and the O-Knife logo. So very nicely done. I think this is probably going to be the same on both models, but at this point, let's take a look at the carbon fiber overlay. Now sliding this over real quick, this is one of the first times that the actual product is not the exact same size on the outside of the box. So I'm not sure if they had to sort of scale it down to make everything fit, but that's just one of those things. But regardless, as we get into the carbon version, so the carbon fiber version, I'm not gonna dig into all the rest of the packaging, but as we take a look, Every single O knife so far that I've held has come with this pouch. Again, it's one of those things for me, take it or leave it, but the presentation, you cannot deny, is absolutely fantastic. As we take a look at the commemorative coin here, this one here 
is different. This is what I'm saying about the people at Olight and O-Knife, paying attention to the subtle details. Take a look at this. This one here in more of a bronze with the darkened outlines all the way around, it is different. So I love that. I love that they're paying attention to the details. I love that they're tying in the coin with the sort of quality and features of the knife scales themselves. Just really cool. So to the people at Olight, very nicely done. Now, of course, this did not need to be vacuum sealed. And the very first thing I notice, much, much lighter. Having the carbon fiber overlay scales definitely lighter. And so I'm assuming that it's over G10. As we take a look at the actual steel liners on the inside, these are more of like a chrome polish. And then it looks like G10 with the carbon fiber overlaid on the outside. So a great look, blackened hardware. So you can see the uh, deep ride pocket clip here with a black finish, the black pivot screw, the blue collar again, which is nice. And then all of the blackened frame hardware. So the T8 screws there in black, very nice. And then the deployment again, buttery smooth. The 154 CM steel and everything finished off so nicely. Equally chamfered, so when you look at the actual details on both of these, everything really finished off and machined about exactly the same. It's just the material is going to be a little bit different. I would go as far as to say the actual chamfer looks to be a little bit further rounded over on the copper scales versus the carbon fiber that could just be an illusion but it's my impression and then again the serial number here kn01528 so very nice now at this point let's get the scale out i'm curious to get a little bit of my own measurements to see how this stacks up against what was reported so here as we look at the carbon fiber overlay remember again 103 grams or 3.63 ounces. Now I can't tell you for sure exactly how calibrated my scale is. However, this does say 3.9 ounces. The copper, 142 grams or 5.01 ounces. Well here, as we get it on the scale, 5.1 ounces. So it does seem to be fairly, I would say accurate in terms of the copper but definitely it seems as though the carbon fiber might be a little bit heavier than what's reported on the O-Knife packaging. Now, just a couple last final little things, just some nuances. So again, back to the carbon fiber overlay model. As I take a look on the inside here, this did not seem to come with a sticker. I was kind of hoping to see that additional detail, as you noticed before, the copper coming with the copper sticker. I was wondering if this would come with the carbon fiber sticker, but it did not, at least not for me. And then the other thing that I missed is on the deep inside of this pouch here, you can see it does come with a cleaning cloth. So that's the other thing. Both of these coming with just a very simple cleaning cloth, but branded O-Knife as well. So nice little finishing touches. And I go back to one of my original statements again, there's not a huge stickler for packaging, but man, do these guys really do a fantastic job. So again, to the people at O-Knife, very, very nicely done. And so all in all, what do I think of the Freeze 2? Well, let's take a look at this. Action, perfect. Little bit of a drop shot. Oh, no worries, riding on bearings, so super smooth. That is definitely going to be the case for both of these. The blade weight is going to be the same regardless of the model. And in fact, the liner lock seeming to be just about as equally responsive. So the knives are perfectly dialed in, perfectly centered on both of these. So no problem there. And it looks to be, I would say, roughly around 25 to 30% on that lock up on the lock. So... That is the case for both of these. This one might be just a little bit further, but in both cases, definitely suitable. Now, I think something else worth mentioning, I'm a huge fan of 154 CM. To me, that's just a great steel. Either 154 CM or CPM 154. Either way, I'm not a big stickler between the two. I like this steel. I think it's a great option. Holds a nice edge, 
reasonably overall corrosive resistant, which is awesome, and reasonably sharpenable. Like I have no problem with 154CM and I'm really happy to see it on the freeze too. This is at this point gonna get some good pocket time. I'm definitely gonna rock this copper for a while, beat it up, get some patina, and I'm probably gonna play around and get myself my own custom patina on this. It may be a future video, we'll just have to wait and see. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at O-Knife who did provide these for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.